All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn CSS grid by building a magazine. Step 19. So within our article element, we'll create an H3 element with the class set to host, pardon me, list title and a, pardon me, and the text of a brief history. Uh, below that, we'll create a P element with the text of, pardon me, with the text of the curriculum. And then we'll create a unordered list, pardon me, an unordered list element with the class list. This is, anyway, whatever. Uh, so within here, we'll make an H3 with a class set to this, right? So we'll do an H3. Oops. So H3. Close H3. All right. And then below that, we're going to have a P. So P. And then close P. And then we'll have a UL, an un unordered list under that. So UL and close UL. All right. So now let's put the classes in. Uh, let's do this. Say class. Oops. Class equals this. Let's take this. Copy it. Paste it in here. Does this one have it? Yes, it does. All right. So and paste it here. We'll have lists in here. This one will be. Uh, oh, this one doesn't have a class. All right, cool. We'll take this class out of here. We'll take this, copy it, paste it in here, and then we'll, this one does have a list. So this one has list title as the class and text. All right, let's take it one more time. Sorry to take so long on this, but sometimes they're like this. Sometimes it's just like this. All right, so we're going to copy that and then paste that right here. All right, so that looks good, I think. Let's, let me get this out of here. It's going to ruin everything. Uh, let's check it. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 20. And we'll see you next time.